Here's two high velocity fans from Menards. Extreme Garage, this was their uh, trademark brand at one time before they made the switch to Master Force. So this is what they're running with now, but it's the same, same manufacturer. Um, they have a 20 inch version of the Master Force. It's basically the same fan, but it's has three metal blades on it now. Uh, really good pricing on these. These fans are really unbeatable for the price. Um, I think the 20 inch one is still sub 50 somewhere, $45.99 or $49.99. Um, I got the 9 inch one for 20 bucks, I think, and these fans just last forever. Uh, I ran the 20 inch ex exclusively in the basement whenever we would get water down there. And uh, we made some repairs to the foundation, so we weren't really getting water down there anymore and it didn't run for a couple of years and I just pulled it out of there recently and it was absolutely filthy. Uh, pretty hostile environment down in the basement, but um, couldn't believe that it even ran. When I plugged it in and, and turned it on, I was really surprised that it still worked, but it did. So I took it apart, cleaned it all up, oiled it. And I actually think that that fan has uh, a lot of years left ahead of it. So look at some of the similarities here. They both have this weird sticker. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that sticker before on a fan. It basically says, keep your fingers out of here. We'll cut them off. Don't even try me. You guys ever seen that sticker before? I haven't. Wonder if it's ever really happened before. I'm sure it has. I'm sure some of the old some of the old metal blade fans with the big grates on them claimed a few fingers every now and then. More similarities. The switch looks really similar. The motors look really similar. They both got this weird rinky dink handle that you can't really fit your, your hand in there. This one you definitely can. I can't even get my fingers started in there. Nine inch floor fan. Orient Industries Inc. Date code 0321. So this is a new fan, 0321, this one, same Orient Industries, where's the date on it? January 2013. So. Eight years I've gotten out of that fan. And another just little anecdote about these for how well they hold up. I went to a county fair recently and saw at least a dozen of these fans running in the uh, the 4-H buildings as cooling fans for the animals. Just loaded with hair and hay and everything else. A 90 degree day running on high all day long, presumably for years. I don't know when they stopped making these fans. They only made them for a couple of years. I, I don't I don't know. But I think Master Force has, has been the brand for at least five years now. So yeah, these Master Force and Extreme Garage fans, they're extremely durable um incredible value just un unbeatable value really so what i'm going to do is just run through the speeds on both of these and uh kind of wrap it up
This one has five plastic blades on it. So it has kind of a, a unique sound. It's very loud. It's very annoying. But it's very powerful. It moves a ton of air. And, uh, yeah, like I said, you just cannot beat these fans for the, for the price. So let's fire it up. I think it starts on the low first. So that's a 20 inch. Here's the 9 inch, I believe. How's this one go? This one runs the opposite way, so it goes from 0 to 3 and 2 and 1. Decent air movement for a nine inch fan. Two, one. Really nice low speed. Quiet, moves a lot of air. Durable fan. And these fans are easy to work on too. Easy to clean and service, and just got these clips. And screw on the bottom, and then it all comes apart. Got some screws on the back. Everything comes apart really easy. Same thing on on the 20 inch. Very easy to clean and service. Back on high and off. Yeah, so those are the high velocity fans from Menards. Can't beat them. Thanks for watching.